Zoom, high user for these are the areas log processing text mining document indexing customer facing business intelligence priority modeling hypothesis testing yeah these are the few areas we are using high high architecture is very much important again so if i submit a query i create a table internally in the hive some components are available those components taking different different responsibilities for executing our hive queries hive tables creating hive tables yes this components taking care of the responsibility for example i have some data is there in my hdfs those data i did query through hive so immediately internally the number of components are available namely meta store driver query compiler like this number of is there different different times different different components take the responsibilities for example meta store yes meta store in this component take the responsibility to store system catalogs catalogs means the creation time table creation time the metadata of the table those system catalogs taking care of this hive meta store and the driver this component take the responsibility of the managing life cycle of the hive queries for section handling section statistics that type of responsibility this driver taking care at the time of query execution this driver taking care yes the query compiler this is a one more component take the responsibility to compile the queries that proper the graphs the maps and reduces will be executing in proper order order or not the compiler yeah the compiler take the responsibility to compile those queries and execution engine similar to hive engine is this execution engine take the responsibility to execute our hive tasks in proper order dependency maybe one query is depending to another query so if the query completed then only next query is running so those type of responsibility this execution engine taking care internally and hive server yes the hive server taking care of the responsibility the jdbc odbc connections thrift interface yes those type if any connection is required that time this hive server taking care of those connections and client components how we are interacting with our hive as there are different ways is there to interacting with the hive so through command prompt command line interface is there through command line we are going to write the queries web interface is there our jdbc odbc interfaces is there different different interfaces is there yes to coordinate with the hive queries and the finally yes if you are developing your own functionalities extensibility interface is there the extensibility interface helps to create your own functions yes user defined functions user defined aggregate functions it will be taking care of the responsibility okay so yeah, this is some internal components are available it will take the responsibility to executing the high queries and developing high queries now next point how you data organized as how we are going to organize the hive yes how you data organized as through databases tables partitions buckets what do you mean by databases what do you mean by tables partition buckets uh -huh. databases means the collection of namespaces tables we call it databases and the collection of data will form certain rows and columns we call it table and what do you mean by partition and what do you mean by buckets i'll show you practically but theoretically is important so partitions means categorizing the data for example i have sales file is there every day sales file data is coming those sales file data i want to store into one table only not separate separate tables every day data is coming every day data i want to store into one table only that time this partition concept is helpful without partition it will be little confusing which data is they are writing which date maybe the data is there today or yesterday whatever it is without partition it is confusing but with partition we get the clarity we do the partition account to the day wise that is called a partition and buckets is yes, what do you mean by buckets the buckets also seem like a sub partition sub categorizing 
partition data against the partition we call the buckets why buckets i will show you practically but uh, let's see we are there in the big data we are there in big data so in big data every day sales file generated whose volume of data is generated different types of sales file is there like a cars bikes home furniture books different types of sales is there like a, a retailer sales those data i want to make a clarity again as the categorizing account to the product wise that we call the buckets so in our further classes we are going to organize our hive account to these formats and now i want to create a table yes before creating a table yes see the some difference between a hive and sql i already told hive queries are almost similar like a sql queries only yes almost 80 percent is similar hive is 80 percent similar to sql what is the uh, features what is the differences what is the similarities and differences see here first point is update if you want to update single record sql allowing structure query language is allowing but hive query language hql is not allowing if you want to insert insert overwrite only insert overwrite the table only if you want to delete completely delete the table only and again some other queries like latency yes latency sql is sub seconds hive is minutes when the data is small sql is hours more than hours days and hive is hours only when the data is big and some other differences also is there and one more major difference is yes, joins sql support all type of joins hive support only equi joins hive not supported non equi joins what do you mean by equi joins what do you mean by non equi joins equi joins means for example left side equal to right side that we call the equi joins that condition but non equi joins means the left side is greater than right side or right side greater than left side such type of maybe the left side is not equal to right side such type of conditions that we call the non equi joins hive not supporting that type of joins only supporting equi joins only this is the one difference and some other differences also is there just uh, go to this document you can read it okay and i am moving to the next one yes data types if you want to create a hive table table in hive yes this is the data types is there majorly two types primitive data types complex data types primitive data types comes under all primitive types like integer float double long everything is comes only one difference is there compared to sql sql we are using if you want to store any character we are using char or var char but in our high we are using string similar to java not char or var char string and the and coming to complex data types yes complex data types like yes array map struct array means yes the order of the collection of fields map means an order of collection of key value pairs struct means the collection of name of fields yeah these are the ways i will show you practically when we are creating table that time all are helpful so there are two types of data types we are using to create a table now finally last point if you create a table okay fine i created the table where the table is available important point concentrate okay by using this data types i created a general table where the table is available the table is created in this location user hive warehouse location because my hive is there in this path only so all my hive tables also available in this location only and at the same time see where it is the hive is available. the hive is available inside hfs only inside hfs only particular path particular path hive tables are available so all our hive tables are available in this location only okay and uh, one more clarity before entering the practical in the real time we have number of dead nodes here for example one two three four five six like this number of dead nodes are available okay 
where we are going to install a hive where we are going to any of the date node generally one date node we are installing hive one date node we are installing pig one date node we are installing some other ecosystem another date node we are installing some other ecosystem like that not a matter if the hive is available in one date node it will be communicating to every date node there is no difference also there is no difference also okay it will be looks like a one file only just for your clarity mm, for example yeah you have a lap take the laptop in the laptop i installed um, any okay one vlc media player okay it i install maybe c drive or d drive or e drive some location i created shortcut into my desktop if i open desktop that shortcut not a matter it will be created any look anywhere but it will be open right similarly if you have multi node cluster also single node cluster also not a matter we are installing hive into some location we are installing hive into some location simply for example hive i installed this location hive is installed this data node you are communicate you are connecting to this data node we are connecting to this data node there is no difference it will looks like this only like this one you are logging into the throughput you are connecting to hdfs it will look, look like this now if you want to log into hive simple enter hive we are entering into hive terminal yes here this is a hive terminal this hive terminal how hive queries are working i want to see any databases are available or not in sql all sql queries are working here also enter see it responding little bit slow slow okay see yeah these are other tables are available in my vmware not your vmware in very much first time it is empty only and i want to see show databases enter these are the databases are available okay and show functions inbuilt functions yeah, this is the function this is a command to list out all inbuilt functions yeah, these all are all inbuilt functions show databases i want to create a database how can i create a database generate in sql create database database name similar here also create database database name only okay yes